Once a group category is created, you may need to add a group and enroll students into that newly created group. You want to review the tutorials on how to create groups uh, with no discussions or drop boxes or groups with discussions and drop boxes. To, add, to create a new group, click on the Communicate tab on the nav bar, click on Groups. You want to click on the name of the group you wish to change uh, from the View Categories drop-down list. So I'm going to choose this particular group. Click on the context menu next to the name of the category, group category, and click Add Group. It will automatically put a group name in there. If you want to put a different group name in there, you can do that. Leave the group code alone and click Save. Now that will create the group, but you'll notice that there's no members in the group. So now you need to enroll the students into the newly created group. To enroll the students into the newly created group, you can click on the name of the group, click in the enroll, enroll users button, and then you want to be able to check box the names of the students you want in the group. When you're done, click Save. Now one of the issues is, is that uh, you probably will have uh, students that were already in a group are now in two groups. Um, and so you want to be able to unenroll students into, this, into the group that you put into this new group and so that they're only in one group. In this particular case, click the, click the context menu next to the name of the group category, click Enroll Users, what you're going to get is a list of all the students and you're going to see all the groups that were created. And then you're going to notice the checkboxes and when you see the two checkboxes that means that student's in both groups. So I want to unselect, uncheck the ones that are in just the new group that I just created and click Save so that every student is just in one group.